So I'm off this week and I was going to work on Solar Trailer 2. I wanted to finish things up. For instance, you can see there's a second enclosure laying on its side in the solar trailer. Well, that is for a second EG4 6000 XP. So that I can have 50 amps of service. Uh, the NEMA 1450 in the power box there can support charging up to 50 amps. Additionally, it'll give me two more PV inputs for maybe portable arrays. But the rain did not cooperate. I did get some work done. I finished mounting 45 kilowatt hours of batteries into the bed of the truck. So I can have more storage. My thought is that, A, I don't want to have this trailer come in too heavy, but B, my belief, and I have no proof of this, feel free to comment if you think otherwise or maybe agree. But for me to have the 600 pounds of batteries in the bed of the truck will cause less range loss and drag than if it was in the trailer. I don't know why I think this, it just to me seems common sense. The extra weight certainly will cause more drag on the tires. The tires I think will have more friction and at the end of the day cause range loss. Regardless, that's the way I went. I could not fit the 60 in. I toyed with putting the second inverter in the bed of the truck also, but I'd have to lay it flat. And if you look at the manual, the EG4 6000 XP doesn't want you to even have the mount tilted a little bit. So I worked on the batteries. One of the problems I had that needed an answer is how do I get the batteries in and out of the truck. I made them as three separate individual boxes, but when I couldn't even get one of them in, it's a couple hundred pounds, I decided to tie them all together. And I used the hand pulley chain thing to lift it in and out of the truck. And when I'm not using it to power my EVs on the road, I could just lift it off and add to my home array. So I used the rainy day to get some work done. I plan on working on it today, but in the earlier video you saw the second enclosure. I'm going to mount it on the right there with the second EG4 6000 XP, put them in parallel. Then I have 50 amps of service instead of 25. So why Solar Trailer 2.0 and the batteries? Doesn't the Silverado already have 205 kilowatt hours of storage? Yes, it does. However, I want to do the trip I did in January of 22. It's on the channel where I took my new Model X down to Jupiter, Florida to a friend's house and ultimately went to Key West, Florida. We actually found some people from Indiana, PA during a music festival of all things. But now I want to try to do it for free. I want to either generate the power to get me there with the solar trailer and or find free charging locations. What I'm going to be able to do is charge for free when the opportunities present itself and generate my power when there aren't any other solutions. This is a modification of what I saw another individual do, the solar cannonball run. So this is Joe Kleber and he did the solar cannonball run from New York to LA, I believe. I will link his channel in the description below. But I want to modify it. I don't want to be stuck at one location for days on end. So 
I went a little bigger with lots of storage and my Silverado EV. Not as efficient as his Tesla Model Y, but Tesla and I have had a falling out. I'm actually going to be doing a video today to talk about the horrible service I had. It's left a bad taste in my mouth. I'm not a fan of Tesla at the moment, but historically I've loved Tesla and they've always treated me right. I had a bad accident. Well, not a bad accident, but a hunk of metal come flying at my car, actually put a hole in part of my rim and right through the tire. If it would have came through the car, I'd be dead. But I take it to Tesla to get a new rim and two new tires. The second new tire on the existing rim, which was pristine, not a scratch. And they ruined both rims. And Tesla's solution? Let's give him a $200 statement of credit for this $1,800 worth of service. Well, that video is going to follow. If you're interested, please watch it. But I'm going to continue the build today. I will do a video regarding my experience with Tesla, and I'm going to get right back in the build. So hopefully I can make this trip in the next few months. I hope you all follow with me along on this journey. And if you'd like to comment, go ahead, give me your input, any tips you can think of to help me make this journey in the quickest time possible. So I look forward to you stopping back and seeing my progress. Have a good day.